Hi guys, today let's go through a story about a woman who completely ruined her marriage with her husband by bringing it out into the open and inviting other people in. Now she's on the hunt for some self-pity so that she can feel better about ruining the lives of two people, herself and her husband's. So she basically got bored with the marriage and started bugging her husband to try and see if they can both also date other people. The husband was skeptical first, but after her constant nagging he gave in. She's a good-looking woman and any guy would go for her. She knows this. The guy is alright, but I think he can do better than her. Which he eventually did. What happened was that she started seeing other guys during the marriage, and he started seeing someone as well. Turns out, he fell for some other woman who was more of his type, beautiful, intelligent, and long-term material. She kept seeing guys but didn't really get anything out of it, and started falling for him again, apparently. Suddenly, when she realized what was happening, she wanted to close the marriage once again, because she was afraid her husband would leave her for someone else and he's not giving up the girl he has fallen for. So the wife is going through a nervous breakdown trying to find ways to keep him to herself. I mean, this is just so common today than it was ever before. Relationships don't last like this. You're either with one person or you're not. You knew this when you got married. So at the first instance when you got bored, you suddenly wanted other people and opened up the integrity of the marriage, and now you don't know what to do. Crazy. I really don't know how this started, or who gave people the idea that opening up your marriage and seeing other people is somehow going to make it better. It just doesn't work that way, honey. How do you know that the next person your spouse sees is better than you in every way possible? How do you know that she has a personality that is much more suited to his, that he can trust her more than he could trust you, that he can be himself around her, and she doesn't test him or try to manipulate him all the time, that she is the best that he has had in bed, that she does exactly what he wants her to do in bed. So the lady says that she felt horrible and that she didn't want the marriage to end, that she knows been a horrible wife and person. And guess what guys, they have a four-year-old child. Imagine a woman who also has a four-year-old child gets up one day and decides she wants to have an open marriage and be with other men as well. I mean, you're not loyal to your husband who's out there working his ass off to provide for the family. You're also not loyal to your child by not putting in your best efforts at having a healthy marriage and relationship. She says they've been together 11 years, married for seven, and open to other people for three years. Not only is what she's doing to the man already wrong, but she also has a four-year-old child, and she said that they have been open for three years. Since the child's birth, this has been going on for longer. I really have to wonder if the child is really his. What happened to being married and having only the two of you? She shouldn't have married the man as she was going to have other guys, apparently. But perhaps since everyone else was getting married at the time she was in her late 20s, she thought, Okay, well, I had to get married too. But maybe I can persuade this man to let me have my wedding cake and eat it too. That's most likely what's happening. And simply to please her, he took part. So when she constantly bugged him to start seeing other people, and eventually he caved in, she says that really screwed up their life in the bedroom. I mean, woman, do you know what you're doing to him? You're telling him that I don't respect and value you to be my husband, so now I want to see other people, and yet, I still want us to be married so I can suck the money off of your paycheck. Also, I don't enjoy sleeping with you anymore so I will start seeing other people because I know you're not that hot so you won't get to have other women, but I will still have my fun. You're destroying that guy's sense of self-worth and ruining any feelings he might have had for you. Seriously, that's a terrible thing to do to someone and he should be ashamed of himself for going along with this as much as she should be ashamed of creating this scenario in the first place. Also for a guy, it truly is harder to get women because women have options all the time, especially good-looking women. A good-looking man won't have as many options as good-looking women. That's fact. Guys line up for women at the first hint. Girls take a while and go through a whole lot of drama to be even approachable even for a handsome guy. I mean, this woman is supposed to be his wife, a loyal, loving wife and the mother of their child. A mother who's supposed to make sure that her child has a home. A home with a father and a mother. Not random dudes sleeping with the mother, and the father is a secondary person in their lives. So, get this. The husband then met a nice, gorgeous, young, happy PhD student and started sleeping with her. She says she met her a couple of times and thought she was amazing and beautiful too. So that's when she started getting jealous of her and suddenly wanted the husband to himself. She says the girl also looked like his biggest celebrity crush. That made it even worse for her. She started stalking the girl and basically became paranoid and envy. She said she saw their conversation on Facebook one day where the guy confessed how much he cared for the girl and how much he regretted marrying the wife. Even worse than that, after he started seeing this girl, the husband started to become a much better person who was always there for the child, was more living, happy, 
and basically a better man all around because he probably had his emotional and physical needs met. So this made the wife even more jealous and she realized the extent of her mistake. The wife was getting all these men in the bed, having a great time, but deep down she was starting to get depressed because she realized how good of a guy the husband was and how bad of a wife that she had been. And now she's seeing the fruits of him having a good person in his life who cares for him, is his friend, has his best interests at heart. And she's not the person, it's the other girl. She's someone who's smart, good looking, funny, educated, and young. To the woman, all I can say is this. This is on you. You have earned this. You delivered him to her on a silver platter. He isn't the same person that you married. He's moved on, and he had to because you were willing to let go of him from the very beginning when you opened up your marriage and invited other people in. Please realize that men are not dustbins that you can just throw garbage in. And trust me, when a man who once wanted you has moved on, he really has and is happy with who he is now. There's no going back to you and to the environment that you created for him to leave in the first place. Even if, by some miracle, he comes back to be with you, do you think he will ever trust you, respect you, or even care for you like he did before? Do you think he's even want to be with you? I don't think so. You damaged his self-esteem by telling him that he's not good enough for you so you're going to see other people now, while still being married to him so you could basically use his money to live your life. Why would he want to come back? But if he stayed with her, he'd be absolutely insane. Guys, you've probably noticed a theme in these stories. Even if it's not the same individual writing it in the same fashion, the issue is always the same. Because this is how they all end. Whenever I hear one of these stories or get one sent to me, I already know how it will conclude before I have ever finished it. He would probably become quite bitter and revert to the self-image he at first disliked. For you to believe that a closed marriage can continue and he can keep up his new optimistic attitude on life, in my opinion, is ridiculous. He would just be enraged and bitter against you, and he would have every reason to be. Effectively, your marriage is finished. Dead. You may either decide to call it quits, knowing that your husband will continue seeing the other girl, or you can try to have fun on your own while dealing with the idea that your spouse appreciates someone else's presence more than your own. This is the end of your marriage. Deal with it because this is on you entirely. You had the option for working on your marriage, trying to reignite the fire with him, communicate, and be a better person. You chose the opposite, the very opposite. You basically shred your marriage contract into pieces when you opened up the marriage and invited other people in so you could have your fun. It's best if you realize your mistakes and move on and leave him to be happy with who he chooses to be happy with now. That's it for today. Thanks for tuning in.